While Stat DCAT AP may not catch the attention of the world, as did this iconic photograph of the Earthrise taken from the moon by Apollo 8, we hope that it would be the beginning of a new dawn for the discovery of statistical data sets. So let's see what's happening here on planet Earth. Earlier we saw a slide of the European Data Portal. In this demonstration we're going to look at the European Union Data Portal. The European Union Data Portal is concerned solely with data from the EU institutions and agencies such as Eurostat. Whilst the job of the European Data Portal is to enable people to find data published by both national public institutions such as government ministries and the EU institutions. So here is the European Union Data Portal. We're going to search for some data and we'll search for some data on emigration. Here you can see a number of possible choices. We're going to choose emigration by five-year age group, sex and country of birth. So here's some metadata about the data and a link to either a download of the data or a link to more information on the data set. However, let's see what's happening behind the scenes. And here we're going to make a Sparkle query. Here you can see the Sparkle query is already set up uh, and it's asking us to choose the word statistics, but I'm going to change that to the same search term we used, emigration. And we'll get the format back in HTML, run the query. And again, there are a number of results. Here we'll click on the first choice, which is the same data set, emigration by five year age group, sex and country of birth. Here again, we can download the data and download the documentation, or we can follow the URI and get more information on the data set. And here now we can download the table or we can view the table. And if we view the table, here is the information that comes back and now we're into a query screen and we can change the query parameters. So how does the data portal work? Well the data portal supports DCAT AP. Here is the model for DCAT. This is the model on which both DCAT AP and STAT DCAT AP is derived. It comprises three major components. The catalog, which contains the data discovery metadata for one or more data sets. The data set, with metadata and links to one or more distributions. And a distribution, which contains metadata for a particular source containing the data itself, such as the format of the data, the size and the URL of the location. DCAT is based on RDF, the Resource Description Framework which is the basic standard for the so-called linked open data community. Here is the five-star schema of linked open data, and I'm sure you're all familiar with this. STAT DCAT AP fulfills the requirements to the four-star level of the five-star schema for linked open data. As the STAT DCAT AP is metadata about data, it does actually link to other data that provides context. But in the true intent of the fifth star, it will be the data publishers to link their data to other data. So here is some information relating to Eurostat that is discoverable using the EU data portal. We're going to concentrate on metadata about the data set and metadata specific to data sources. That's the distribution. STAT DCAT AP extends DCAT AP with additional properties added to the dataset and the distribution. For the dataset, five new properties are added, including the link to the data quality information. There are four properties that tell us something about the content of the dataset in terms of scope, such as what dimensions classify the data, such as age, sex, country, education level, industry, etc. 
What are the attributes? And what is the unit of measure, such as percentage of total or employment? And the breadth of the scope of the data in terms of the number of data series. If we look back to the European Union data portal, we can see how this would improve the search for data. Whilst the description in this example contains the same information as dimensions, the description is not really processable by software to support a search for the breakdown of the data in the dataset. In Stat DCAT AP, the portal will be able to offer such searches based on the concepts used in the dimensions, such as age, sex, country of birth, education level, industry, etc., and to present choices with the closest match to these selections. For the distribution, Stat DCAT adds the possibility to link to a visualization of the data for example a document or web page where a tabular or graphical representation of the data can be viewed or an interactive service where the data can be accessed and viewed. This is achieved by adding the type property to distribution. The STAT DCAT AP specification has an annex that describes a mapping from the STMX information model to the STAT DCAT AP model. We did it because SESTIMIX is a reference ISO standard for exchanging and managing statistical data and metadata, which is widely used in statistical offices in Europe and elsewhere. A simple transformation mechanism allows creating STAT DCAT AP metadata directly from existing STMX metadata repositories. Other communities, such as the DDI Alliance, could create an equivalent mapping to assist users of these standards to extract metadata from their systems. Here is a schematic of the STMX information model. We have the concepts and coding schemes used to structure the data, the sources of the data, the organization providing the data, and the topic scheme that assists in data discovery. The data flow in STMX is the data set in DCAT AP model and dimensions, attributes and unit of measure in the STAT DCAT AP map to the components in the data structure definition. The distribution of STAT DCAT AP is the registered data source. And the data publisher in STAT DCAT AP is the data provider in STMX. STMX also has a category scheme that can contain the topic scheme and to link this with the data flow. This is equivalent to the theme taxonomy in STAT DCAT AP. However, while most of the mandatory and recommended properties of STAT DCAT AP can be found in STMX, most of the optional properties and even some of the mandatory and recommended properties would need to be provided by using the STMX annotation mechanism. Another annex in the STAT DCAT AP specification contains an outline of a technical mechanism for assisting organizations to publish STAT DCAT AP from their metadata sources. The requirements that need to be resolved in such a mechanism are shown here. It is probable that metadata are available in different sources and formats, and even multiple sources. Ideally, the metadata should be validated before it is submitted to the data portal. The metadata needs to be transformed into the RDF required by the data portal and then the metadata needs to be submitted to the data portal or made available in a location that can be harvested by the data portal and displayed to the open data world. The annex of the technical mechanism describes how software can be built and integrated into existing systems to enable organizations that have these metadata in their systems but wish to extract these metadata in a CSV file or an Excel file or in an SDMX file or a DDI file and then let the remaining part of the system validate these metadata and to output it in the RDF format expected by the data portal. And with this we are back to the Earthrise. We are hopeful the STAT DCAT AP heralds a new dawn in the field of statistical data discovery. <laughs>